Good evening, I'm Joe Domaleski, KI4ASK, and I am here in front of the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City, Georgia, serving Metro Atlanta. It is Friday evening, December the 2nd, and time for Skywarn Recognition Day. I'm gonna give you a tour of the NWS office, the WX4PTC ham radio station, and introduce you to some of the staff. Stay tuned. All right, here we are in back of the office. This is our radio tower for the WX4 PTC station. You can see the dipole antenna for HF communications is up here. We'll be using this for Skywarn Recognition Day. This other tower is used for NWS communication. On this tower also are VHF and UHF antennas for the linked repeater network actually inside the NWS Atlanta office and I am here with meteorologist David Nadler. Hello David, thanks for having us. Hey Joe, thanks for being here. Welcome. Appreciate uh, you making a trip down. So tell us a little bit about what you do here at the NWS office. Well, we are we're 24/7 operations. Our our primary uh, mission is uh, you know forecasting uh, for north and central Georgia. Uh, we do day-to-day -day forecasting. Um, obviously, our our most our biggest impacts are when we have higher impact weather, uh, severe weather, tropical systems, winter storms. We're putting out uh, warnings uh, for the public and coordinating with all of our uh, external partners, emergency managers, public safety officials, um, and our trained spotters and amateur radio operators uh, definitely play a big role big role in uh, what we do here. So, so tell me a little bit about that from your perspective. You, you can oversee yeah. the Skywarn program here. I know you trained me. What's the program all about? Well, I think it's really about just um, communicating uh, real-time information from the field out there. When our office is here in Peachtree City, uh, but we cover 96 counties in north and central Georgia. And we have a, some amazing technology that helps us like warn on tornadoes and things like that, but really getting uh, ground truth uh, from trained spotters and relaying that information here through amateur radio operations or whatever um, is a real critical piece of our operations. So that's where you all come in and we're, we're real grateful for the partnership and the relationship we've built up over the years and across the, across the state. Well, thanks, Dave. All right, David, take us on a little tour of the office. Okay, well, come on here. We, I mean, there's a lot of uh, monitors. We have eight different workstations set up uh, around operations here. Um, just a lot of screens to monitor, like, is the radar functioning properly? Is our weather radios transmitters are set up? Uh, we do upper air balloon releases a couple times a day. Um, and then each of, the, each of the workstations have their own uh, systems to pull in as much weather information that we want to look at, satellite, radar data, real-time observations, all the model data that we look at to right. put together our forecast. So, yeah, we're all, you know, on a day like evening like tonight, you know, it's pretty quiet. So we have kind of minimal staffing, maybe two to three forecasters. Um, if we ramp up and we have a bigger event, we might have seven or eight people here working, here, uh, working at once. And so does each station have a particular function? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean, we have like over on this side, maybe because we have more um, for anybody that's releasing the balloon, a lot of the equipment is here. So that's right. easier just to... You and know, you do that two time. times a day, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, we're doing that two times a day, unless we're asked to do it more ahead of like a big okay. tropical system or big potential like severe weather outbreak. Uh, but each workstation is pretty much set up the same. So any one of us could sit anywhere and log in and get, you know, what get you need. To do what we need to do. Yeah. Right. So, situational awareness screens, a lot of monitors, we're watching local TV stations. We have uh, dashboards that, you know, we could see watches and warnings that might be out for surrounding offices just to, you know, so that we're, we're not blind to what's happening around us. Um, we do cover such a large area though. That's uh, definitely a big deal. And you have great relations with the neighboring offices. I know that's oh, yeah. part of one of the things we're going to do for Skywarn Recognition Day is talk to other offices using ham radio and let them talk back to us. Yeah, yeah great reach, right? That's all over the country. And then over in here, this is where sort of the spillover, if we do have extra staffing for severe weather, winter weather, whatever right. it be, would work on. We have three workstations back in here, including our amateur radio operations desk for... WX4PTC. That's right, and I'm going to zoom in in a little bit and uh, explain all the gear to everybody. Very good. And in addition to all these awesome 
displays and computers and weather information. It is December, and I must say, they do a very fine job decorating for the holiday season. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Very impressive. Okay, we're in here in front of one of the monitors, and David's gonna kinda of explain what all this cool stuff is. Yeah, I mean, we have two big uh, graphical screens, I guess, so we can pull up anything we really want. Right, I've got like a three panel radar, uh, current radar, and then uh, like satellite imagery here. And then over here, I've got a four panel of one particular model that's showing like different slicing kind of through the atmosphere to show different parameters. Right. And it's probably, looks like a lot of jargon to most people, but for us, Meteorologist, it, it means something, you know, when we reckon we're watching this stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, just gonna, we can kind of tap through this. Um, I can change screens, zoom in out. Like, this is a visible satellite that, since the sun's going down, is probably no longer really good. So, I can pull in maybe an infrared satellite of nice. the region and kind of get an idea. I mean, we got some, we got a weak front approaching. Um, so we might get some light showers pop up here over the next few hours and overnight, but we're not expecting any crazy weather uh, over the next 24 hours. So that's good. That's always good to hear. <laughs> so David, how can somebody find out more information about the Skywarn program? Yeah, for, for North and Central Georgia, we have um, on our main webpage, uh, if you go to the National Weather Service and click on like North Georgia, it'll take you to our local page. We have a Skywarn like icon thumbnail, if you will, right. you click on that. And there's a bunch of information on like, you know, how you can report, you know, the training that's out there remotely, but we also do like um, local spotter training, usually like late winter into the spring. And then we do like uh, a few classes in the fall months as well. So it talks a little bit more about that. Um, so yeah, just uh, check that out. And I must say my, my wife, who is also a ham, KI4HHI and I went through your spring class this year and you always do a fine job. And I know you teach it a lot, but you make every class <laughs> unique and uh, very professional. We enjoy it. Thanks, yeah, we have a lot of people that, uh, forecasters here that teach those classes and they do a fantastic job. So appreciate that. Well, this NWS office is extremely nice and generous to us. Look at all these snacks to keep us powered through the night and even a cake. Look at that support from the NWS. Okay, well here is the WX4 PTC amateur radio station here in the NWS office. There's our official license for the station. Uh, Lynn Bianco is our system trustee, uh, KN4YZ. There's our main HF radio and it is hooked up to that fan dipole antenna that I showed you earlier. We have a D-Star capable radio and it stays linked to Reflector 30 Bravo, which is the state of Georgia D-Star network. Most of the D-Star repeaters in the state stay linked to that and we use that for emergency and auxiliary communication. We also have two UHF VHF radios. Radio A is on the local Peachtree City repeater. It is part of the Skywarn network. So when we activate Skywarn in Metro Atlanta, uh, we originate from this repeater and we use UHF for that. That's radio A. We have this mixer unit. Uh, most of the operators in here, when it's really busy, we'll plug in headsets so that we can hear the radios better. Radio C over here is the two meter radio. It actually does uh, 70 centimeters as well, but it's hooked up to a two meter antenna. 145.210 is the Fayette County Amateur Radio Club repeater. Uh, the Fayette County Amateur Radio Club and Fayette County Aries provide most of the ham radio staffing for this office because we are literally in their backyard. We have a computer uh, set up here with two screens, and right now it's going to be set up for Skywarn Recognition Day. We've got a logging using Google Forms and a, uh, a spreadsheet. The, uh, the log is going to feed the spreadsheet, and when we are not in Skywarn Recognition Day mode, uh, normally we've got a radar image up and some other information. We also use NWS Chat which is a, uh, a service by the NWS where they do real-time chat to uh, talk amongst themselves with uh, media, EMA, and ham radio spotters to, uh, to kind of talk behind the scenes about various warnings and watches and other things. And so uh, we won't give a tour. Maybe I'll do that in a future video. So this is just another uh, computer station here. We also have a few uh, screens here that we can put 
various and sundry pieces of information. And uh, yeah, so that's the WX4 PTC station. Here's our QSL card. If you make contact with our station over the weekend and send us your QSL card in a self-addressed stamped envelope, I'm the QSL manager and I will send you one of these nice, cool looking cards back in return. Yeah, this is Whiskey X-Ray 4 Papa Tango Charlie, the NWS station in Peachtree City, Georgia. You're 5-9, over. Yeah, QSL, and you'll be first in our log for Skywarn Recognition Day. So nice to make contact with you, Poda. Yeah, 7-3, this is WX4 PTC. So I'm here with John in for FOR, and we're just getting started for Skywarn Recognition Day, and we just went ahead and made a Parks on the Air contact, and that was a lot of fun, and uh, we're getting ready to get cranked up here, so stay tuned. Okay, we're here for Skywarn Recognition Day, and this is shift one. It's just after 7 p.m. local. That's uh, 0000 UTC, and I'm here with Seth, N4F, N4SBX, and John, N4FOR, and they're going to get situated here logging and making contacts for Skywarn Recognition Day. The X-Ray 4, Papa Tango Charlie, uh, the National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia. Uh, we have you something along four and seven here down in Georgia. QSL? QSL, well, thank you very much. Seven three. X ray four, Papa Tango Charlie. I have you five seven down here in South Georgia at the National Weather Service. Seventy three, have a good or have a good activation. Yeah, yeah. In use. Whiskey X ray four, Papa Tango Charlie. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Whiskey X Ray 4, Papa Tango Charlie. Whiskey X Ray 4, Papa Tango Charlie. The National Weather Service in Peachtree City, Georgia. Calling CQ, CQ, CQ for Skywarn Recognition Day. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get you some information here. The uh, weather here 54 degrees and partly cloudy. Uh, we're expecting some rain tomorrow. Thank you for uh, reaching out for our four, fourth contact for Skywarn Recognition Day from Whiskey X-Ray 4, Papa Tango Charlie, Peachtree City National Weather Service. QSL, we'll see what happens. So we're spotting ourselves on DX Summit 2 to try and let everybody know we're out here. We have you as SRD MLV 362 uh, and got your weather report there. We have you uh, Four seven here in Georgia. Uh, how's our signal there? Thank you very much. Seven three and enjoy your day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it in the capable hands of Seth and John here at Skywarn Recognition Day in the National Weather Service office in Peachtree City. On behalf of them, the awesome staff here, all of you out there watching, all of you participating, I hope you have fun for the next 24 hours and hope to catch you on the air. This is KI4ASK. We'll see you in the log, 7-3. So the NWS office is located here at the Atlanta Regional Airport in Peachtree City, also known as Falcon Field area, and it is Friday evening, December the 2nd, and this is time for the blah, 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 and it is about to start the Skywarn Rec. Blah, blah. Good evening, I'm Joe Domaleski, KI4ASK, and I hear a plane in the background. Hello, airplane, you are interrupting my YouTube video. Two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here inside the NWS Atlanta office, and I am with the severe weather coordinating blah, 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 take two. <laughs> I don't know if I should include this. People might get a bad impression about hams. WX4PTC. Was that you? Just to make sure. I might leave over there. Yeah, I would. Whoever the airship is, 
And that's all, folks.